Last time I was trying to figure out the shapes for this part here, which uh, I now that I r look at it again, um, although like the shape might be a bit uh, unconventional, maybe um, I think um, I think I'm alright. I'm alright with the direction that it's taking. Before I was not like super certain, but uh, after all, I think I'm good. I think I'm good going in that. Um, in that direction. So, what I'm thinking of doing is finishing the um, the the, sh the shape of the thigh, just making sure like the design is good. Uh, then adding some some details, some IMMs in there, a uh, bit of a visual design as well. Maybe finishing the abdomen before uh, going on the the arms. That's what I'm thinking of um, of doing. And the arms, I'm actually not sure if I'm going to do them like organic or, or not. So uh, that's going to be also something I'm going to have to figure out after. Uh, then later, this is going to be in, in another stream, uh, finishing the head. And uh, I guess we're going to finish with the, the giant arms. Yeah. And uh, I'm thinking this character is probably going to remain symmetrical like this. I don't think I'm gonna actually like pose pose it. Maybe give it a little po pause. Pose, sorry. Um, but I mean he's like very solid in the way that he's posed right now which is kind of like the point. So um, I'll see. I'll think about it. It's not gonna be a character that's gonna, that's gonna be really hard to pose. We'll see. I mean, there's not a lot of like flexibility around the arms, the big arms position. It was not meant for like animation this way. But um, yeah, we'll uh, figure out something. Hello, hello, Deltamo. Cool. So let's uh, let's get going, I guess. actually much happier with the new design than the original uh, design so that's a uh, that's a good place to be gonna start by putting some um, bays uh, underneath part for this character here um, all right so we're gonna already start with something uh, something a bit tedious but that's gonna look good once done I find it difficult consulting hard surface characters any tips um, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty hard. I'd say um, my tips would be: it has to be. It has to look functional as much as possible. But there's a degree at which it doesn't serve any purpose anymore. The moment you sell the illusion, everything is fine. So just find the right compromise in between making it functional, which is a great, uh, a huge aspect of um, hard surface. And, 
yeah, also uh, shape language is, is mo even more important than just like the polish of the hard surface. Shape language, visual, visual language, all that stuff. So I'm just gonna try to get the shape of the thigh. I made it on purpose to start from um, a, a um, start from a cylinder. The point is that it's actually following. It's actually following the the silhouette of the thigh, but I want it to actually be a perfect topology Melissa you did art hello oh, love your art and yeah, that's pretty cool thanks a lot much appreciated thanks for the follow as well top of that is now transforming these into a, kind of like a tube like uh, like pattern or whatever uh, let's duplicate this just in case uh, I fudge it up let's transform this into a bevel let's bevel every everything Also bevel each of these. And now I could have done that a little bit more smart, but whatever. I'm not gonna waste that much time. Just bevel these and let's dynamic subdiv to see what it does. It does it does this, so that's good. just to make this a little bit higher than the rest. There we go. So now it has like a kind of like a 2B thing to it. Um, yeah, I, th I, th I think uh, I think that's going to be fine. I think that's going to be fine. How do you extrude incrementally? Mm, I'm sorry, what, what do you mean by that? I'm gonna try to get the shape of the butt a little bit more. I think I kind of like lost it. Huh? Oh, 
Okay, that's probably all right. Let's duplicate this on the other side. So mirror and well, but before that, I'm just gonna like kind of like push it to the side so it doesn't merge into one shape. There we go. And uh, what I'll do now, for the moment, I'll just like push everything that I don't need, I'll just push it inside here. Since I'm using like a technique where I prioritize going fast rather than going clean, um, there's a chance that I actually just keep that hidden inside here without really doing much more to, to hide it. Said. Now I'll move this so it shows a bit more. I might add a little something here just to eventually hide. Um... Oh, I had it. I had um, an IMM on something. See if I can find that. Mm. Okay, it's gonna be. I'm actually going to open an old file. Let's read a bit of a chat in the meantime. I want to offer promotion. Uh, yeah. um, hello, Marco and everyone. Hey, Talden. Great tip. No problem. Here for that. Hello, Marco. Hello, Frog HL. Out of curiosity, how's uh, people's, uh, how's the volume? Is it like too loud or anything? Just opening this project here because I want to grab a few, <laughs> a few parts from it. I want to grab exactly that thing right there. <laughs> All right, let's steal it. I'll steal it. Is it stealing if it's from from yourself? That is the question. I mean, it's okay, but I think the music is beating you in terms of volume. Yeah, that's what I was uh, curious. I'll, uh... How about now? Probably better, right? Awesome. Perfect. Anytime there's something like that, let me know. I'm. Uh, it's not uh, not not very difficult to do these adjustments. Maybe it should even be switched, actually. So that the indent is on the part of the art surface and I can use it to make some kind of like... clip thing. Now I'm also wondering if there's not maybe like a way to create an um,
some kind of like indent. Just want to break, maybe break the patterns here. Uh, maybe I should have actually done it. Let's let's test something. Let's go in um, Z Modeler. Uh, Q Q Mesh. drop it completely to the ground and let's grab six of them and raise them up okay it stops the line but hmm. what if it's not a q mesh but an extrude oh uh, yeah i see it's kind of like getting closer to what i want but it's kind of like circling here No, it's uh, not uh, doing the effect that I'm actually looking for, really. Or actually, you know what? Just this might actually be fine. So, uh, yeah, I guess let's go for that. So I'm just gonna mirror it. Oops, we're in dynamic. There we go. I'm gonna create one here. There we go, there's a little added detail here. Kill, kill. Uh, great, thank you, Marco. I got around to finally watching your classes on Elk Gang. Really helpful stuff. Hey, cool. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I really like uh, doing stuff with Elk Gang. Uh, Laura is a good, uh, good friend of mine, so uh, always cool to do a little collab there.
Yeah, something like that. It's cool, it's cool. So we got a giant plate here and then I'm gonna cut eventually. We got some stuff happening here as well. This is gonna be... Am I gonna cut those plates apart? It'd be easier if I actually don't go through that. It might be complicated if I don't. Hmm, what should I do? What should I do? I think right away I'm just gonna add a piece over here. I don't want to be in local symmetry. Thank you. 
So yeah, I think that's for convenience sake. Um, it'll be much better if I kind of like split this apart. I'm not even going to go for like any complex um, formatting of the mesh. I just want it to be a different, different sub tool. Marco, what's up? Hello, FX. Uh, hi, Marco. Currently, I'm thinking about buying a Cintiq. Any recommendation? What do you use and what arm to hold it? I just have the Ergo stand to hold it. Uh, I got a 27 inches. It's already bigger than what I need. Uh, I would absolutely not go more than 27 inches. Uh, 27 inches is already like massive. Um, even when, and especially if you do characters, characters are vertical, so it's like there is a lot of horizontal space that is, is kind of like useless. Um, except if you like to have your reference on the same on the same uh, screen, that that's good. But it's like if you, all, I already had two screens. I have a screen on the left and the right, and um, if you already have this. Um, a large Cintiq is a bit overkill, you don't really need it. But Ergo Stand uh, works very well for me and I like it. All right, now let's go with the the split that I was that I was talking about. I'm just gonna start by really marking the uh, the area. And I think what I'll do just to, like I said, go uh, quickly with that is I'm going to create two. meshes I'm simply going to kind of like hide the parts from one that I don't want to uh, show
All right, and uh, same deal with the other one. Like maybe I'll do something later and I'll notice that this needs to be uh, done uh, cleaner. But uh, right now let's just see if we can actually uh, hack it and therefore go faster. kind of thing I'm gonna take care of that later Actually, you know what, I can probably just mask and close hole. who um, wanted to have a, an STL version of uh, the, the frog character. I'm actually working on uh, something, so uh, I think you guys are going to be happy. I'm just doing some tests, making sure it really works, and but uh, yeah, I should be able to have this in a not too, too distant future.
Chibi Ghost. Hi, hello, hello, hello. Thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Thanks for another one. Very cool, very cool. Thank you for any form of, of encouragement. I really appreciate it. Okay, so back to um, trying to finalize this shape. Man, <laughs> thanks for another one. That's cool. So uh, yeah, so right now what I'm going to be doing is kind of like refining the, the shapes a little bit more. So I'm going to be moving the uh, the edges manually, just to make sure they flow really at the that they flow in the shape that I truly want them to flow. And I've added this like cylinder in the middle here that's going to act as in a kind of like um some like base or a. to really like dictate uh, what the shape is doing and whatnot.
So I think I have the um, like the edges flowing correctly. So now I'll just uh, make sure that the uh, the surface is uh, is fine as well. I like to H polish in both direction of the plane. First time watching live, normally watching on YouTube VODs, so sculpt along. Yeah, there we go. It's a sculpt party. It's uh, somewhat clean, somewhat clean for the parameters that we're giving ourselves. I don't know why I'm talking we, <laughs> like the royal we. Smooth is as good as H polish sometimes to smooth things out. Just a little reminder. Am I missing an edge here? change the orientations of a few things. Nope. Not a good. If we, if we extrude it from from the shape, give it like this extra that's kind of cool. Let's go for this. Probably gonna have to dynamish soon.
Hey Marco, what are some good resources for learning how to get the feel of the intricate technical portion as we have there? Oh, oh I don't I don't know. Resources for learning how to get the feel. I do not know. It's uh They basically was just like a lot of observation. But cutting the shapes like I just did, like doing like those, it's just like understanding levels of details, I guess, and just tackling one thing at a time, I guess, that would be my, uh, my tip. Like I said, it's very, I think a lot comes from visual language, actually. So it's sure that there's like a, a certain technique that I'm, I'm using when I sculpt, but I think a lot is like dictated just by shapes that I know will, will work well, or, or maybe not like no necessarily, but like I feel it could work and then I test them and I'm like, okay, yeah, my eye likes this. But it's a lot of my eye that basically tells me, okay, that's cool or not cool or that sort of stuff. I'd say uh, a lot of it comes from the eye. All right, so for the front of the plate, that's pretty good. We're getting, we might be getting into like another level. Like this, I do that just to break the rectangle, the rectangle shape here. That's a bit monotone. Just makes it look a little bit more sci-fi, right? I'll do the same thing here. Actually, you know what? I'll I'll make it follow this line here. I felt it was too much uh, level of uh, details, changes in the level of details. Let's say the line flow and whatnot. Okay, do I want to have the corners rounded? Probably, yes. So you see, this is like, once again, another visual language thing. It's like, okay, well, do I want to keep my my corners round or have rounded edges? Technically, I, th I feel that like it's going to be a, a smarter choice to 
around the edges. There we go, that's going to be nice. Okay, so this is going to be some like detailed thing, details on the cylinder, shape of this is good, this is going to connect to here, I'm going to take care of it later, so I'm going to finish, I'm going to put some little triangle in there, maybe this here, I just want to make sure I know what I'm doing with that. So those shape are good. That's good, that's good. Here is good, that's, I'm gonna fix that later. That's good. Here, let's, let's, let's just a little bit cleaner here. So before polishing this, um, well, first of all, let's uh, dynamesh that to a pretty high level. If 
maybe higher. I ended up not finishing my sentence. <laughs> Just got really focused on something. That happens. I'm really happy with the shape, so that's cool. So yeah, before I start doing like any more like polishing, I'm gonna just like take a look at the, the section of the back here, do a little bit of the same thing. Yep. Ah, yes, yeah, so let's dynamish this before going on. Oops. Some artifacts here, let's get rid of that. Necessary cleanup just for the integrity of the mesh. Come on. That right, should be good. Should be good. And I'll just uh, do a bit of the same at the back here, the same as I done I done at the at the front. Just making sure the shapes are cool with me. by those angles here. Hey, thanks for the follow, that's cool. There's a few things that makes less sense in terms of the shapes at the back. I mean, until I fix them or give them some sense, right? But uh, since it's the back, I might actually just not put enough, uh, not put a, as much uh, 
pressure. Thanks for the follow. Hmm. Yep. Let's uh, isolate this part, mask this part before doing the rest, otherwise I'm gonna... Oops, not even. There we go. So yeah, we're all just giving it like a little cleaning pass. Nothing too extreme.
And it's going well for the moment. Just going through the motions. Parts where I um, I pay a lot of attention to the design and I try to polish, like, uh, well, polish, really refine the design. Well, keyword here is design. Actually, I get really quiet because my uh, my brain really works uh, at maximum capacity. <laughs> Let's say. Um, you know what, guys? guys and gals, give me one minute, two minutes, I'll be back, I'm just gonna make myself a coffee, daddy did not have a lot of sleep last night, I'll be right back. All right, I am back, I am back. All right, good to know, Talden, thanks for saying that. And I come back with a fresh eye.
So I use um, the idea of using uh, Dam Standard or Orb Crack. Dam Standard rounds the corners and Orb Crack does a straight line when it carves. And it really makes a difference because, because like, let's say I cut this shape like this, it's pretty straight, right? But what if I do it in Dam Standard, it kind of like rounds it at the same time. So depending on the, um, like the effect you're going for, um, both can be actually very, um, very useful. So it's a visual choice, right? And um, so it goes hand in hand with uh, any type of other visual design choices and whatnot. But let's try. Too complex of a shape, I need. Mean. Just want to kind of like bridge those two things together. You know?
Okay, 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 we're getting there. there. Not everything works yet, but I think there's going to be a lot of like, hacking anyway. But I have a feeling that we can actually just go from there. Am I correct in my in this assumption? Let me think about it. While I change that song. Yeah, our crack is uh, is really something that I use a lot. Are you in Europe right now? Your schedule are. Very nice, sir. As I'm in France, uh, no, I'm in Montreal. It's just I decided to do that uh, during the day when I can, which has been uh, pretty much a yes for a um, for a while. Yes, as in yes, <laughs> yes, I can do it. Okay, so let's dynamish this a high resolution and that's gonna be actually good to go for for now so right now uh, the thigh area the shapes are there we're just gonna be missing uh, the details and that sort of stuff before I put the details in I just want to put a few more uh, IMMs just to complete everything and once I'll be done with the tie, the thighs, I think I'll go back to the um, the, the the torso to complete it as well, and we'll be done with uh, a huge part of uh, of this project. Save this. So let's reuse as much as we can. And by the way, reusing um, has some. Um, there's some good quality to reusing. Uh, one of them is that it creates echo means um, like having like parts of your character exist uh, in many areas of um, your model which actually kind of like does like a callback and it's uh, that's actually a, a really good thing to, to have
All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Not bad, not bad. Let's put everything in red, everything that I want to be working on in this area. Actually, let's put the, uh, the torso red as well. So this, is, this is just a way for me to, to mark things that are um, not done, let's say. Let's apply the same level of polish as at the bottom here, and uh, that'll be uh, that'll be another one in the bag. I'm just gonna fix a little something that's bugging me. Here.
There we go. It's going to be more neat like this. Finding, making priority things with color smart, never thought of that. I mostly apply a short paint for an overall feeling. Uh, yeah, I do the paint at a certain uh, level, but like not at the beginning. But you could also paint, it's just like, I, let's say I would like probably de deactivate the, po the poly paint to um, see like what needs to be done and whatnot. It's just, it just helps me to focus on like the next, next task and that sort of stuff. No? Voxel Forge, hey, hey. All right, let's get back into it. I guess I'll probably just try to get a get by with um, alphas. Not sure if that really fits with the uh, the rest of the aesthetic. Actually, <laughs> let's uh, just keep it just in case by duplicating it. Thanks for the follow. You know what? I'll just take what I did before. Whatever. I 
Thanks for the follow, by the way. Thanks for the follow. Come on, just a little bit cleaner. Oh uh, god, come on. <laughs> there we go.
Hey Marco, this is this looks wild. How many people work part of Chaos Mason? Uh, let's say like 50 people, approximately, more or less. Ryako, great stuff, holy shit. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, which is um which is the name of the song in the background? Um well this one was this one is called Italian Eyes, but when you asked the question, I think it was um Identity in Crisis, but it's a copyright free song, so um yeah.
Okay, is there another IMM type thingy? I think I'll go for the final polish of uh, the thigh parts now. Thanks for the follow, by the way. I um, that kind of like escaped me. Hmm, before I put this, do I want to add a protective guard around the, the cloth area? Just has an added uh, detail. I think I will actually. And thanks for the, the other follow. Ooh. Thanks for the sub, Kevin. Super cool. Super cool, super rad. Much appreciated. Okay, I'll try to do with that. It's a bit uh, janky, but uh, maybe it'll do. It's very janky. <laughs> Boy. Let's uh, use a smooth directional to kind of like get rid of uh, the bumps a bit. Let's Marin weld because unfortunately, um, mirror and weld does not work. Uh, sorry, uh, smooth directional does not work in symmetry for real. So that's unfortunate. Let's also reduce the size of this. This is a big and a bit intense. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I lost some mass in some areas. That's a bit unfortunate. Hey, thanks for the follow. I think I heard like another one right before as well. That's cool. Thank you so much. Okay, now let's give that some more interesting 
uh, features. So let's subdivide first. Let's have it go around the pieces. On the Did I lose my mask? Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna select parts of it and I'm going to focal shift minus 10 and move in back face mask to kind of like drag this to this end here. Same thing here. And I'm gonna do the same but the opposite direction in some other areas. It's gonna need a bit of fixing. That might be a bit too complex for nothing, so. a little bit. Hey, thanks for the follow again. Good for this little part here. Like color color coding uh, the, the, the materials is going to be really important at some point. Um, at some point I'll do it.
Ooh, no, that's too too sharp. Too deep, I mean.
And when I do this extrusion, it creates some, like some form of like stretching, but um, yeah, I don't I don't really dwell on it. Um, I can always do like a, a little dynamesh again and smooth it out, but uh, yeah, or uh, like I can already like smooth it just like this here. But yeah, I am. I should have kept the kept the mask of my um, my extrusion over here though first, because now it's like uh... there we go. But if I want to put like details on this, yeah, at this point uh, a little dynamesh first. And it should uh, it should help things out. Any new sweet tutorial coming out soon? Actually, uh, I don't think so. We've been extremely busy with um, with a lot of things, so I think that it's not going to be uh, for a uh, for a, quite some time that we're going to get a tutorial. Actually, hence why I do those um, those stream religiously to compensate for for this.
Ooh, I just got raided. My god, I always get raided when I'm about to finish my streams. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Hey, Astrovert, thanks a lot. That is much appreciated. Thanks for the raid. Right of 60 people, that's uh that's quite a lot. That is quite a lot. People you should go check out Astrovert channel. Encourage him in return. Really cool, really cool. Hi, everyone. Hey, everyone. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Sorry for the bad timing. That's that's all good. You know what? I already appreciate it a lot. So for people who just arrived, uh, I'm working on a cat in Treaty and ZBrush. All right, here we go. Eventually, it's going to have two big mechanical arms like this. But right now, I'm just polishing piece by piece. Going slowly but surely. Slowly but surely, as always. And now I'm just working on... on some pieces over here. Slowly but surely. Thanks for the follow, that's really cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm god tier. Well, thanks. That's uh that's uh that's much appreciated. I appreciate the compliment. that I did the mask uh, just drawing it basically dude you are humble but we know <laughs> thanks I appreciate that now I'm just trying to figure out what's gonna create the best shape for um, this uh, I'm kind of like hesitating on uh, Yeah, I think that's gonna be that's gonna be good like this. this so yeah I'm uh you know what is this for uh just for fun just for fun to, uh, actually just to, to teach people a few of my techniques uh while working on a project uh like a, an easy project like this one the goal is to um the goal is to uh um, work on a simple uh, model don't do not do any like really like uh, crazy polish technique or just to uh, work a lot with um, uh, manual techniques I could say like now I'm just creating a mask and I'm just uh, breaking it into like different shapes and then I'm gonna extrude it just see if I if I like this
which is uh, yeah, it's not uh, it's not bad. Maybe I've uh, made it too complex. Yeah, I think uh, there might be just a bit too much. I don't think it needs to go down to here. Actually. I think that's going to be enough. So let's just blur them a little bit so they're not like super sharp. And I'll just work on their... Just want to give them a bit of like profile. profile I think I'm just gonna hmm, actually wait hmm let me think easy <laughs> you usually work with the uh, dynamesh or subdev uh, both. I mean, Dynamesh for more blocking stuff and Subdiv for more, um, for more, um, like, um, hyper polished, I guess. Uh, I'm watching the series on YouTube. It's so, uh, it's so cool to see this from scratch. Thanks for uploading the VODs. Hey, it's my pleasure. I'm happy to, uh, I'm happy to share my knowledge. That's really what I'm trying to, to do with that whole thing in the end. So I'm happy to hear that. So yeah, I'll, I'll man I'm manually going to uh, work on the uh, the inset of these shapes here, and I'm actually gonna always morph it back. Like the parts I don't want to move, I'm gonna morph it back to what they are. Once I'm done, I'm gonna mask. Actually, um, maybe this is more something I'll dynamesh first, then smooth it out. If like anything needs to be more smoothed, I can always just go back here and do this. I've just smoothed it a little bit too much. And uh, like I said, if I was actually doing a um, like a fully polished, like for this part, I would have been more diligent in terms of uh, the, res the resolution and everything. Because uh, right now I've been kind of like conservative on the, um, on the resolution, on the, um, yeah, on the resolution. This is really just a quick and dirty way of getting by mm. 
So yeah, there will be a detailing pass to um, to do on, on uh, this um, those plates here, but um, the detailing I don't think the detailing is going to take that long. I'm going to do it in the next stream though, because uh, now I'm getting um, like I need to um, I basically need to go. Uh, but detailing, I'm talking about stuff like uh, like I'll still be adding some of those um, extrusion thing. Stuff like that. Which I'm kind of like doing right now, after all. <laughs> mm. I think right there is going to be too much. But I'm probably going to have to work on... some sort of like inset here though. Also my my masking brush is starting to act weird. I don't know what's happening, but uh, this is something uh, and I'm going to be looking over. See, I'm not sure about this one, but uh, I feel like I need to add like a little something over here. No, no, that's not working. I'll, uh, yep, I'll, I guess I'll just uh, figure it out next stream. All right, okay, I thought I was going to be able to do more than that uh, today, but uh, I guess, uh, I guess not, but hey, you know what, whatever. Next time, still, we're, we're seeing where it's heading, and, uh... Alright, let's save this. Alright, let's see, uh, what, um, chat is saying real quick before I go. Uh... When you're making sets into the geometry, like... This, why don't you use the deformation inflate at a negative value? Um, well, this is what I did. I just did inflate with another tool instead. Uh, uh, this looks amazing, Earl Umbra. Thanks, much appreciated. Uh, you have so much patience with details. Uh, yeah, I, I like to. I like to to, to take um, time with the shapes. As, as well as take time with the details. Uh, what's this layer thing for? Oh, it's just a layer for the details. I put the details on it, and I can do on and off with the layer to see um, if I like the addition of details or not. Uh, I think he's just working on a layer as an undestructive work. Yeah, exactly, like uh, Tampon Taste said. Um, Thanks for the stream, Marco. Always awesome. Well, yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for joining, actually. Um, it's sad to leave uh, after uh, such a generous raid, but uh, you know what? If you want to see more, just uh, follow me uh, and check my stuff next time. If you want to follow me on uh, YouTube or any other social medias, you can go at the bottom of the screen. There's two links. One for Chaos Masons, my company. One for me as an artist. And um, just follow me there. Just follow me there. I got a couple of cool things um, happening. Uh, I've, I also have the the famine um, the famine uh, collectible that just came out. For those who are interested, you should uh, check it out. It's uh, one of my biggest, my coolest project. Uh, the new apocalypse universe is something I've worked on for a, a long time. 
and um, one of the character just came out. This one, famine, yeah. So this is a 3D render. A couple of renders here, explanation, backstory, and uh, a few images of the actual product, the statue. It is gigantic. Um, where's the picture with the, the guy beside it? Anyways, it's massive. Go check it out. It's uh, it's super cool. And uh, yeah, uh, whatever. And I'll be back uh, next week. Uh, today, uh, today, this week was a crazy week. I almost didn't uh, do the stream, but I found the time to to connect. So uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so yeah, next week I'm gonna try to do it uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll see. And uh, yeah, man, uh, that's gonna be good. Uh, I just watched you on YouTube and Twitch, so I recommend you. That's cool, man. Thanks. Much appreciated. Are you aware of AI? I'm a bit scared. Okay, well, this is not a subject uh, for... <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm not opening uh, this can of worm. All right. So, uh, cool. Uh, thanks, everyone, for joining. Uh, I hope I'll see you soon. And, uh, yeah, until then, take care of yourself.